somebody pops a paragraph from culinary occasions. We're doing something fast and easy during this difficult time of sort of being homebound. Uh, chef owner of culinary occasions. We're out in South Houston right now. We are home. Uh, or we are working, I should say, doing carry out and delivery food in a safe environment. Coming to you without a mask on to make it a little bit easier for you to see what I'm doing and to hear what I'm saying. But I am going to put together a very simple dish, which is a frittata, which is basically a Spanish or Italian version of an omelet. There's no stovetop cooking in this recipe. We're basically going to go into the oven for the most part. If you want to saute some of the vegetables ahead of time, you can. But again, this is made with stuff that we have in the pantry. Simple stuff, very easy to put together. Um, today I selected to do it with eggs, uh, ham, cheddar cheese, red pepper. I had an Idaho potato. I had some fresh chives and fresh thyme. We're going to season it with salt and pepper. And again, all the steps are super easy, fast and simple. It would be nice to have a non-stick pan such as this one. You could also do it in a cast iron skillet. Um, and I'm going to roast the potatoes on a sill pack, which is a silicone mat similar to this guy that we've got right here. And for that, we're going to go into our heat oven. So let's get started and get our potato in the oven. Have some lunch. So now we're going to get our frittata ready to go in the oven. Again, a non-stick pan is a good idea. Cast iron skillet actually works really well. Um, I just put some butter in that just to make it easier to come out of the oven. I am going to uh, get the base of the frittata ready. So I've got six eggs in here. I'm going to add two more eggs. Now, when I'm doing this again, I like to add some kind of dairy to it. Preferably something like half and half, or maybe a little bit of heavy cream and a little bit of whole milk. I want to add something to it that's got a little bit of fat to it. It's going to be good for flavor and it's going to help it to fluff up in the oven. So that's our base. As we've been moving along in this recipe, when I put the potatoes in the oven, we season the potatoes. When I put the peppers on top of the stove, we season those. We have to remember that there's a little bit of salt in the ham. But you want to season the eggs as well. If you wanted to at this point, you could add a little bit of nutmeg to the eggs as well. Again, we're going simple today, so I'm not going to do that. The eggs are going to go right into the non stick skillet. Get those things out of the way. Then I'm going to just kind of drizzle the rest of the ingredients right in there. Again, it's like we're making an omelet, except there's not going to be any time on the stove top, and there's not going to be any flipping in half or anything like that. All the ingredients are going right in there. A little bit of ham lot of, sweet, of uh, cheddar cheese, any kind of cheese will work. Again, just see what you have in the refrigerator and make that work. 
And then I did saute these peppers on top of the stove. And remember a while ago, I also put some potatoes in the oven and roasted those up on a silk pad with a little bit of fresh thyme. We're gonna have those. So this is kind of like a basic breakfast all put together in one pan, again, baked in the oven, making it super simple. All of those elements were seasoned a little bit more uh, all together. And then we're gonna put this right into our preheated oven. I've got it preheated to 400 degrees. Oh, actually I forgot one thing. We're gonna add some chives to it as well. I knew I had something else on the cut of it. Fresh chives, a nice little splash of flavor at the end. All right, so here we are at the end of the line. We know this has been in a 400 degree oven for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, we'll take a quick peek at it. I'll show you how you know it's done. This is great, actually. So we're in a non-stick skillet, so that's a good sign right there. It's nice and loose. It's going to come out of the skillet all in one piece. Um, it's dry. We don't need the egg sort of uh, in a liquid state, and it's going to move right out of the pan easily. So I'm going to take a pan that's a similar um, diameter of the frittata, and I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to actually use this towel and hold the other side of the pan, which is very hot. Flip it over. Voila. Now, if you really want to kind of surprise your family, you can take the whole thing and put it under the broiler for a few minutes to crisp off the top. Gives it a really beautiful finish. Makes a great lunch, a great dinner. Everything's in there. You've got potatoes, cheese, peppers, a little bit of chives, thyme, and cheddar cheese. Uh, enjoy it, or don't forget, it's Culinary Occasions. You can always go on our website at culinaryoccasions.square.site and order lunch or dinner takeaway from us as well. Stay safe, enjoy your cooking.